You may not know this about me, but I'm an introvert. <laughs> Some might say an extreme introvert. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. But with bills to pay and a family to feed, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. Come along as I follow my passion trying to create art that shows the essence of nature in a photograph. I'll be sharing my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Riding the Edge. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I was a photojournalist. But I, I do uh, talk about that in my intro to my videos. But it's not something I talk a lot about on this channel. This channel is about where I'm at in photography now. But sometimes it's worth looking back. Maybe there will be something there that could help somebody inspire somebody to take some chances I was thinking how the heck did I become <laughs> a photojournalist a job that requires you to interact with people on a regular basis a job that is so against my nature now I'm not an expert on this topic <laughs> all I know is I'm not very outgoing nor do I feel the need to engage with people I don't know. In fact, I, I find it quite uncomfortable. My colleagues from the last uh, newspaper I worked for used to laugh, used to get a kick out of the idea that I hate people. <laughs> it's, it's not that I hate people. I just uh, don't feel the need to be around them. And uh, that was always kind of a, a joke. It was weird being in that profession and yet being so antisocial, or at least what perceived was perceived as antisocial. I am much more happy observing than I am engaging. And that be, might be my superpower when it comes to people photography. There's so much that you can learn by just being a fly on the wall, just by observing the people around you. I do find <laughs> watching people very interesting and that's probably why I came to really enjoy people photography over the years the job was hard for me it it was demanding for someone with my personality having to engage with the public with law enforcement with emergency crews on a daily basis it got easier through the years through experience but it was especially when I started out, it was, I, I think, quite difficult to push myself into those situations. That's what's required to do that kind of job. Journalism is about photographing people. It wasn't uh, pretty pictures. <laughs> it was about documenting life in, in our communities, sporting events, breaking news, in just everyday life. But the key ingredient was people. Rarely did I ever make photographs of something that didn't have people in, in the photograph, rarely. 
there was occasions where we uh, re-ran photos that I made just because they were interesting enough, not having a, a person in them, and we thought the the, uh, the the readers would enjoy the images. But for storytelling and everyday photography, it was about people, and it was about photographing people. I know street photography seems to be very popular nowadays, and maybe it always has been. I've never done street photography, but I've photographed a lot of people in public. And I almost never asked somebody permission to take their photograph. If I saw something that looked like a good image, I would make the photograph and then I would approach the person. And that is something that even after doing it for so many years, never got easy. It was never easy walking up to somebody and saying, I just took your photograph. Could I ask who you are, your, your name, where are you from? Uh, trying to get a story. I couldn't use a photograph that I didn't have the name of the person, especially if they're recognizable. If I couldn't figure out some way to put it, a story around it, it could be just a, a weather story, like being along the river and seeing a really cool shot. I, I one, one time took a photograph of this young lady floating on a, a, a air mattress. The uh, background was just perfect. It was really such a cool shot, but it, it felt kind of weird after taking the photograph, having to approach this person and say, I just took your picture. <laughs> Luckily, she was she was all okay with it. And uh, we were able to, to wrap that photo around a weather story. But in journalism, there needs to be a story. There needs to be uh, a person that has an identification so that meant you really had to put yourself out there to engage with the people. I uh, photographed a, a homeless couple panhandling on the street. What I found interesting about this couple was they were quite young. So I took their picture and then approached them and got the story. There was nothing about that that was easy. <laughs> or sitting with a homeless man for an hour just because I I wanted to know what the story was. In that instance, I didn't even take my camera out for probably after I'd sat and talked with him for about an hour. And then I asked him if I could take his photograph. By that time, he was perfectly happy for me to, uh, to make a few images while we continued talking. Another way that you have to really put yourself out there is when there are emergency situations, you have to put yourself in, close enough to the action close enough to get the story, to get the photograph. And that can be a, a difficult thing if you're um, an introvert like me. You find ways to find the path of least resistance. You get really good at knowing where to go, how to get there, how to kind of nibble around the edges to get where you need to be. I say all this to, to illustrate that it's not something that comes natural to someone like me or someone who is you know not very outgoing who is an introvert I'm not sure that even an outgoing person would be comfortable in all these situations they might not feel that insecurity about approaching people but I, I would imagine that it, it could be even difficult for for somebody that's that's uh, more outgoing most of the reporters I worked with were always very outgoing people. So we, we made a good comp we, we made a good team when we'd go on, on assignments together. Over time, one of the, uh, my favorite aspects of people photography became the portrait. I got more comfortable engaging with a person in, in, uh, in a more relaxed way. There are times where when you're working on a story, there's no other way to really approach it than, than with a, a portrait of the person you're doing the story about. I still would love to do more portraits. I just don't find myself in a situation where I have a lot of access to people nowadays. Doesn't mean that there won't be a portrait project sometime. I, I think it might be kind of cool to do a, a black and white series, especially that I'm shooting film. When I finally left journalism after 25 years, it was still difficult. <laughs> It, uh, it, it did get easier over time. 
but every day was definitely a challenge. And I think after 25 years, I just felt like it was time to find different challenges. At some point, you, uh, you want to find something that isn't so against your nature. And I don't regret doing journalism, news, sports photography. In fact, it, it's, it's really helped me develop to be the photographer that I am today. But I'm in a new chapter, new chapter in my life where I don't really need that anymore. I really crave a more expressive, artistic approach to photography. So it was time for me to move on. This video is largely probably an excuse to to look back. I think it's important to to look back once in a while to to appreciate where you came from. But I hope that it encourages you if you are someone who has a similar personality as I do, who's not naturally outgoing, who doesn't seek out social environments. <laughs> if you're if you're someone like me, I I hopefully you you can see that even though it can be difficult, it certainly can be done and you can certainly thrive in in that atmosphere. Honestly, when I started the first year I did uh, journalism, I thought this is going to be a one year thing. I'll do it. It might be a good challenge. And 25 years later, I was still doing it. But during those years, I just at some point decided, well, I guess this is what I'm going to be for, <laughs> for, for till the end until I decided it was time to move on. The industry had changed quite a bit. And so I think that's a good way to transition into, it's time for me to move on in, in this video. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.